what up though connors we are 14 days away from the start of the ninth anniversary can you believe it two weeks away actually one week away because the countdown starts next week this is what we have all been waiting for so in this video we are going to be continuing the ninth anniversary preview series by taking a look at part two we're going to do a dragonstone count approximation for all of the events and stuff that is incorporated into part two so that you guys can see just how much we can get and then once we finish parts one two and three in their respective videos we will do a full dragonstone count for the entire thing so if you guys have been enjoying all the content, if you guys are looking forward to the ninth anniversary, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 90,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So to reiterate a couple of things that I mentioned in my last video, number one, this is an approximation. This is not by any stretch, hundred percent exact. There are possible mistakes, possible variables, human calculation error, possible additional social media campaigns and stuff that were just not included on the JP side. Top grossing could always vary on the global side possible missed events incomplete wiki this actually happened during part one so shout out to one of you guys who pointed it out we actually missed the broly trio easy a because it was not listed in the campaign breakdown page that i found on dokkan info i have since found a better more updated version of it but because of that i missed the broly trio easy a so we actually missed 33 dragonstone so shout out to terry who pointed that out so i added that to the total this is the new adjusted total for global on part one and uh you know i like to round it down so it'll probably be like 330 stones but this will all be factored into the final calculation also to follow up on someone's comment toon didn't mention the ui goku eza i specifically said that i will not be incorporating the countdown portion in these videos not for the parts one two and three videos anyway for the final tally we can but for right now i did not that is why i did not list the ui goku eza because it is here in the countdown so let me once again <laughs> remind you guys of that fact so with that said let's uh just quickly uh re-examine part one real quick we don't need to spend too much time here we had the login the missions we had the dual dokkan not the dual dokkan festival dual dokkan carnival then we had the new dokkan event we had the awakening metals support tldr for the awakening metals you don't have to actually pre-farm a bunch of metals this time they make it so much easier on you with all of those extra missions that allow you to farm significantly less the only the only work that's really going to have to happen is you're going to have to do 11 runs on broly post summons and 11 runs on beast gohan post summons everything else either is taken care of from the missions or you pre-farm these ahead of time but some people don't like to so once the celebration starts you would still only have to farm this because the rest of it would then be taken care of from the missions so i did a whole video talking about all that uh going through rainbow tickets free tickets coin shop special trade jewels both paid and free sns campaign we have the initial chunks of the story events we have the broly event probably my favorite one among them just because this is going to be giving you ex skill orbs for super bosses and super bosses is majorly on the rise with the category just getting all the updates that it is blue zone assassins domain end of the movie edition two red zones boss rush support memory boost ultimate clash and then here they are here are the other easy A's. you can pre-farm the medals for these two i don't think that this is as much of a taboo as pre-farming medals for characters you're about to summon for so if you want to you can these events are available daily even right now so you can go in get those medals unfortunately because it is not available using keys you will have to spend stamina anytime you revisit an easy a stage that you've already completed it will cost you stamina but it's probably better to get this done now so you don't have to worry about this during the celebration because there's just gonna be so much stuff going on but it's up to you and then also we're going to be getting all of our easy A's and stuff fully covered courtesy of the support awakening campaign thing JP got this so global should get this as well so I'm just gonna you know mention that and then this is the memorial battle this starts like two days before the part one actually ends which it's still part of part one so with that said let's jump into part two part two starts on the 10th so I've got the dates right here right here from the 10th to the 20th is part two smack dab in the middle of this is when the beast gohan and the gamma's banners would release so for the first like less than a week you would not be having the banners you would still be working on some of the last minute pieces of content that dropped from here like the broly eza the memorial battles and then once you're kind of done with those and the dust is settled you would then jump into the summons here and then more events would follow leading into part three so for global these 11 days would translate to roughly the end of the month if part one goes from the beginning of the month to about the 20th then from the 21st to the 31st would be the uh, part two so for login we simply multiply 11 by three each day you're getting three dragon stones as we saw in the first first video right every single login gives you three 
there is no initial infusion of stones like we had at the start of the celebration because that was a one-time thing so 33 is all we're gonna get for login default daily missions it's 11 days so within 11 days there is definitely going to be at least two weekends if the weekends were to start at the beginning of the 11 day count and then we get another two weekends in there that would be two more stones but i don't want to factor that in so i just gave two extra stones bonus instead of possibly four part two daily missions you also get again the same amount of stones as the amount of days so that's also factored the amount of stones you get from the part two missions seems deceivingly low it's not because they're they're holding out on us they're giving us a ton of stones in other ways basically the part two missions essentially cover you in terms of other things the gogeta easy a medals meat Ties, training items, awakening medals, and coins. Those are the sorts of essentials that new players need to kind of cover all of the new characters that they're getting, getting through the new content and all that stuff. So that's the main function of the part two of the ninth anniversary, like general missions. So there we only get five. The SNS campaign gives us three dragon stones. So every single section of the anniversary. Where is the SNS campaign? Okay, it's not here, but SNS campaign at the start of each part, they will basically ask you to share on social media. The fact that you're playing Dokkan, they're trying to just get more people to play. You don't actually have to do that. You click the button, the horn button. It'll take you out of the app. Then once you're out of the app, it registers. Okay, they've left the app, so they're probably going to post it. You don't have to. You can just delete it and then go back into the game, and it'll give you your three Dragon Stones. New Dokkan event for the new Beast Gohan. So the new Dokkan Festival banner. Let me pull that up. We have the new stage to the older Dokkan event. That gives you two stones. Let's take a look at the two banners. We will do an in-depth breakdown of the various banners in another video, but I still want to take a look at them. So, where we go? Where is it? Here it is. All right, so we got the Gammas, and we got the Beast Gohan. So, here we go. Uh, unquestionably, the Beast Gohan, best unit in the game. Among the top five, you could also argue that Royal Blue and UI also belong there. You've also got Spirit Bomb GT, Super Saiyan 4s, other great units. So, this is a very good banner, simply because you got some of the best characters out there. Also, seven, the seven-year LRs could be getting their EZAs next year. And for global, next year is in less than six months. So next year, but when I say that, I mean next anniversary. Next anniversary is less than six months away. So actually, it might be six months exactly at this point. No, seven months, right? Whatever. It's, it's closer than it ever was before. Okay. We're not waiting a full year for the anniversary. We're waiting far less. So these guys could be easy Aang next year. This banner is the best. I will say that in terms of the Gamma banner, this is actually a really good banner. And I would argue that this is better than the Gogeta banner. The Gogeta banner, while the character is really, really good, and I would say that the Gogeta is probably a little bit better than the Gammas because of the target focus effect. The Gammas are kind of like, they need a couple of turns and then they're unstoppable, but the supporting cast is really good. You've got one of the tankiest units in the game in Future Gohan. You got one of the best units overall in Bulma still. You've got a great starting unit with the Turtle School Goku. Revive Goku, who still to this day, in my opinion, is very viable. You've got Super Boss category characters whose stocks are on the rise with the new Super Boss characters that we've been getting. Trunks, who is a great anti-Zamasu red zone event. So anytime you're trying to run through those types of events, you want to bring specialty characters like this. And a surprisingly decent sub ECA in the Super Saiyan God. And then this guy, he doesn't have any... Well, actually, no, he does have an easy A. He is a nuking easy A. He's okay. But most characters are pretty good here. So I think that this is a better banner than Gogeta. So in terms of the part two summons, you'll probably be having a little bit more of a even distribution of people summoning for each. Still, though, the focus should be the Beast Gohan. Getting the number one character in the game should be of paramount importance. So we'll, again, we'll talk about that in another video. The medals, like I said before, the only real medals you're going to have to worry about once we start the anniversary is going to be the new Beast Gohan medals. Everything else is essentially covered with the support missions. There will be a few that you have to do. The Memorial Battle second stage. So they're finally giving us the next two battles. This only starts when the banner comes out. So essentially, Broly Gogeta dropped like a couple of days before part one ended, which is a little odd, but they're doing it to kind of bridge the gap between part one part two one of the major issues when it comes to celebrations in dokkan in general is that a lot of people like to do everything on the first day and then once you do there's really not much else to do in the meantime right because you've done everything so this kind of smoothens that transition between parts one and two by giving us some of that bridge content so gogeta sort of helms that gap between part one part two and then by the time the banner drops for beast gohan and the gammas 
that would be about five days into part two that's going to be when the third and fourth stages actually drop where you have to clear without using an item clear with every single type on the team clear without using an item clear with every single type on the team that's what they're going to be doing i have no idea personally how difficult these events are because again i am staying spoiler free i want to enjoy these events along with you guys so jp players if you want to chime in you can special missions for the ninth anniversary part two we talked about that so five dragon stones we've got a new pan event which gives us superhero skill orbs so this is just like the broly event only difference is that this starts during part two so all in all you are going to be earning less skill orbs overall from this event than you would from the broly event just because the broly event has a two week head start but both events can be done daily and both events should be integrated into your daily routine during the ninth anniversary absolutely a must 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 they got the rainbow ticket missions 43 tickets overall can be obtained via missions seven are given upon first login so between three different parts the 43 tickets are distributed i believe like half of it is, is given in part one and then the other half is split up between parts two and three then we've got the blue dudes easy a so this character can be obtained from the broly dokon festival banner this unit can also be obtained from the special stones i believe it's yeah it's this one it's the premium one you do have to pay for it but you also can pick it up from this so that is going to be some of the ways you guys can pick up the character if you do want this easy a a very good easy a and for me specifically as a universe survival saga fan that's my favorite category universe seven i am very much looking forward to this character this character has always been fun to use but the problem is man just no defense no means of protecting himself now they've they've got it so that's going to be another easy 33 dragon stones the extremes awakening scholarship stuff you know all the medals or all the statues that cover all of your finances then you've got the what is this this is a like this is the water bottle thing right what is this all about i don't remember what this is for uh let me see oh i see so the point of this stage is to get water bottles so that you can purchase items from the water bottle shop which is right here so that is the point of this and if you bring superheroes and super boss then you will get an increased drop rate so you want to be bringing lrs naturally farm more water bottles you can then use those water bottles to pick up all of these you know what i did not factor this in in the free to play video Ooh, shame on me so yeah you can get uh, four kai's from this and then a bunch of other stuff hey i mean you can also get dragon stones this is well what more do you need you got this right here awesome so i will not say no to more free stuff i am gonna go ahead and just write that down though so i'm gonna i'm gonna just keep that right there for my records i will put that in my kai report later that's cool all right next we've got the what is this like super super hot fire intense battle or something yep saiyan battle intense heat now this is a limited event limited attempt event per day so this is going to trigger a lot of people red zone people in particular so what makes this event special is that it is one of those massive link level boost type events where you can only attempt it three times every seven days similar to the meta cooler the king kai the paths of good and evil that kind of thing so they will allow you to do this on two separate stages i think one of them is category specific let me see if we actually have the does it say which category it has to be? oh there you go stage one can only be superheroes stage two can only be super boss so one of the major issues during these celebrations in terms of people just trying to max out their characters some people aren't whales you know so they want to have the best characters the best versions of the characters that they can but maybe they just don't have all the stones and the meat to burn up to you know mass link level these sorts of events will help with that 45 percent chance of link leveling your character that's the baseline there is like a full actually do we see the link level rate coefficient here we don't see it but this is like on par with those other events that i mentioned so it is all the more likely it is insanely busted how likely it's going to be i'll have to do the numbers and check for myself or proton will probably let me know in the comments where does this stack compared to the other ones because i think at the moment before this the king kai one was the most generous it had the highest rates so does this beat that or is it about the same so definitely you want to be doing that as much as possible and you get some stones out of it you get some kai's out of it so awesome easy 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 Moving on to burst mode, so that gives us nine easy dragon stones. This is on the Frieza Dokkan event. So you just have to go through and finish all of those. You can also get some burst coin silvers. Burst coin silvers can get you some nice skill orbs for the two categories in question, which are power of wishes and joined forces. So this will also be extra special because joined forces will be useful for the gammas. 
Although I think the anniversary characters are covered uh, in terms of skill orbs, but you can use this for like blue dudes. You can use this for Broly, Chile, Lemo, those types of characters. So it is good to get those done. Then we've got new stages to the ultimate excite battle. Now, let me, let me get this. Let me dispel any confusion. I don't understand why there is confusion about this, but ultimate excite battle and intensifying fights are two different events. I don't know why I need to clarify, but I do because I got some people coming at me like I'm an idiot saying, dude, it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. All right. It is not the same thing. Where is intensifying fights? Look at this. Intensifying fights. Ultimate excite battle. Do you understand? Intensifying fights. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Ultimate excite battle. Stage one, stage two. The graphic is different. The name is different. Like, I can't tell if I'm being trolled, so this... I mean, if you trolled me and you, you baited me, good job. But, like, some people actually don't understand that these are two separate events. So, let me just once again point that out. They are two separate events. If you are one of those people who genuinely thinks that it's a separate event, please don't anymore, because... Just stop it. <laughs> so, okay. Second stage to this one. I don't even know how this event works, because I haven't done it. But you get some Hercule statues, you get some Kai's, you get some... Ooh, some Link skill orbs and some stones down here. So you want to be clear with the... Oh, wow. A bunch of different categories. I see. So uh, Battle of Fate, Androids, Universe Survival Saga, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Power, Super Saiyan 3, so on and so forth. Okay. Cool. So they'll just add more to it. Clear within... Uh, clear seven times. Clear ten times. Within two turns. Wow. Okay. There you go. Uh, then we've got the ultimate... Or not... No, ultimate. This is the blue zone. So blue zone... Blue zone stages four... Five and six. So blue zone. Uh, who would we be fighting? Trunks, Royal Blue, and Migotte no Goku. And then the final two are saved for part three. So more missions that come from it. More tickets that you can summon on the blue zone banner. I'm actually very curious. What is the blue zone banner actually? What is it for? Let me see. Uh, if we go to tickets, will we be able to see? What is the blue zone banner? Oh, it's this. Huh. Okay, so you got God Goku, you got Trunks and uh, Trunks and Mai, you got Goku Black, you got Pan, great support, Zamasu, good EZA, God Goku. So four out of the seven. Actually, I like I like the Peppy Gals category, so I would say five out of the seven are nice pickups, especially the LR, and then every other LR like general unfeatured would be in there, right? Yeah. So there's also that you have a chance to pick up Broly Trio. UI, Goku, all those other guys in the unfeatured pool. So, very nice. There you go. That is the Blue Zone. Then the new stages for the story events, the Beerus, and the Frieza. I believe by this point you're able to awaken the Broly... Uh, did I say Broly? The Beerus to the LR level. Same goes for the Frieza. You can get them to the TUR level, but you can't ultimately extremes the awaken them. Because you'll get more missions along the way. And then all of these other events from before. Now, I don't think I'm missing anything. So, let me just quickly go through all other announcements in part two just to make sure i don't miss anything because that's the last thing i want so let's just skip ahead dokkan event yada 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 they'll start to announce like other things are coming up oh yeah top grossing so they got top grossing on jp so that gave them 30 dragon stones so global players we should expect something similar hopefully line account stuff obviously global doesn't have that they also do a survey that is something that they do and then they start teasing some of the upcoming content so Part two ends on the 20th of February for JP players. And so then they start to tease like some of the newer stuff, Cell Max and the ninth anniversary battle and all that stuff. So with all of that said and out of the way, let's go through the numbers. So new Dokkan event, two stones. Ultimate Excite Battle, three or uh, 16 stones for stage two. Blue Zone stages four through six, 23 stones. Pan Skill Over Event, just like the Broly event, only one stone. Beerus Story Event, part two, eight stones. Man, this stuff is not lined up properly. Frieza Story Event Part 2, 4 stones. Memorial Battle Part 2, 20 stones. This is the one with Beast Gohan and the Gammas. LR Blue Dudes Easy, eh? Superhero Water Bottle Thingy, 2 stones. Intensifying Heat Saiyan Battle, 7 stones. Now, I don't think you could actually get all of them done in Part 2 because you would have to run through it 15 times. And since Part 2 is only 11 days, that's actually not possible. But still, they're all going into the same place. So we're going to just keep this in part two, but some of those stones would be obtainable only in part three. 
Frieza burst mode event, nine stones. Survey, three stones. Top grossing, 30. That brings the total to 223 dragon stones. As you all know, I like to round down, so I'm going to say 200 dragon stones would be obtainable during part two. But there is still a whole lot more coming up in part three, so this is not the end of it. But there you have it. That is the full breakdown for part two. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I went through and very carefully checked everything out. So I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, check the pinned comment down below just to see if I did miss anything. But that is going to be it for part two. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on how part two looks overall. Does it look more exciting than part one? Are you looking forward to Beast Gohan more than Broly? Or is there an event in particular that you're excited about? Let me know which of all of those challenge events are you most excited about running and anything else you want to talk about. Feel free to share in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future. And Click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I should be to Dokkan responsibly.